Hi, I'm John Hornick. Welcome to Lesson 19 of Chef's Apprentice, Learning to Cook Like a Pro, One Small Plate at a Time. This lesson is seared sea scallop with Vietnamese dipping sauce. This lesson introduces scallops, which are perfect for small plates because they are very rich. One large sea scallop per person is plenty if it's being served with other small plates. Because scallops are uniform in size, their cooking is predictable. As you will see as you cook your way through this course, once you learn how to cook a sea scallop, you will be able to do it flawlessly in many preparations. Shellfish are also perfect for Asian sauces. This simple but versatile dipping sauce, which can be used for dipping anything, is called Vietnamese because it contains fish sauce, even though fish sauce is found in many Asian countries. And the brown rice vinegar in this preparation is Japanese. Techniques today are chopping, shredding carrot, marinating scallops, making a paste with a mortar and pestle, making a versatile Asian dipping sauce, seasoning, searing scallops, keeping warm, and plating. So let's start cooking. Okay, so here we are for lesson 19, seared sea scallops with Vietnamese dipping sauce. And first we'll talk about our mise en place, and we'll start with our ingredients. And of course we're going to need sea scallops. Uh, those are the main ingredient. Uh, now, sea scallops come in various sizes. The description calls for jumbo, but you have to use what's available. I couldn't find any jumbo today. Jumbo is usually 10 or more, I'm sorry, 10 or fewer scallops per pound, sometimes called U10. Uh, these are actually U10 to 20, which means 10 to 20 scallops per pound. They're large, but they're not as large as the jumbos. And we'll talk about the difference in cooking them as we go on. All right, so I'm gonna stick those back in the fridge. Uh, okay, next we're going to need um, some uh, olive oil, and it could be any olive oil, and we're also going to need about one tablespoon of chopped garlic. Now, I've already put it into the marinating container because we're going to marinate the, uh, or marinate the uh, scallops in some olive oil and this chopped garlic. Okay, we'll also need to have the ingredients for the uh, dipping sauce. And uh, for that, we're going to need uh, about three medium to large cloves of garlic, coarsely chopped. Now, I've already coarsely chopped them, and I put them in this mortar, which we're going to use to make a paste uh, with this sugar, uh, with a mortar and pestle. So we'll also need, uh, in addition to the chopped garlic, about three to four medium-sized cloves. Uh, we'll need one tablespoon of sugar. We're also going to need uh, one half a cup of water. We're also going to need um, one quarter cup of fish sauce. Now this is fish sauce. There's all different brands out there and um, I've already measured that out. Quarter cup of fish sauce. We're also going to need about uh, one quarter of a cup of uh, freshly squeezed lime juice. I've already squeezed it. And for your reference, uh, uh, one medium sized lime is about a quarter of a cup. So you can just use one medium sized lime and you don't have to measure out a quarter of a cup. We'll also need some rice vinegar. And um, we're gonna need one tablespoon of that, which I've already measured out here. We're also gonna need some Japanese brown rice vinegar. Now, uh, I love this stuff, I could drink it. Uh, we're gonna need one tablespoon of that. I've already measured that out as well. Uh, this is the Mo Mitoku brand. Uh, you won't find this in every grocery store. I get this from naturalimports.com, Mitoku Japanese brown rice vinegar, one tablespoon. All right, we're also going to need about a teaspoon, a little over a teaspoon of chopped chives, finely chopped chives. We're going to need some crushed red pepper flakes, about an eighth of a teaspoon, basically just a pinch. We'll also need a carrot. We're going to, and it needs to be a peeled carrot. We don't need much of it, so I have just have here a half of a carrot that's been peeled. We'll also need kosher salt, as we always do. We'll need a pepper mill, as we always do. And we'll need a high smoke point oil to uh, sear the scallops. And I'm gonna use avocado oil. Uh, you could also use um, canola oil or grapeseed oil. All right, so that is all of the uh, ingredients. I will break now and come back and show you the equipment that we'll need for lesson 19. Okay, let's talk about the equipment for lesson 19. Uh, we're going to need a cutting board. We'll need a chef's knife. We will need a juicer for squeezing the fresh lime juice. I've already done that, but you'll need one to do that. 
need a, uh, a peeler. Uh, we're going to be using that to um, uh, make the carrot garnish. We'll need a container to marinate the scallops. Now I already have the chopped garlic in there. We're going to use a container. You just need a container that's roughly the size of the scallops that you have. Uh, we will also need to have a mortar and pestle. Uh, there are all different sizes out there. I've already put the uh, coarsely chopped garlic cloves inside. Mortar and pestle. We'll also need a mixing bowl and a uh, wooden spoon. We'll need a skillet. Now you can use a skillet uh, that's made of um, uh, alloy metals or you could use a, uh, a cast iron skillet. Uh, cast iron skillets are great because they maintain their heat. They get really hot and they maintain their heat. Uh, but they do get really hot, so you have to be uh, accustomed to having all that heat and being able to handle it. Uh, today, I will probably use this. Maybe we'll do it in both of the, both of the uh, skillets, see how they turn out. Uh, we'll also need a timer, and we'll need a slicing knife. We'll need a ladle to ladle the dipping sauce into the dipping sauce bowls. And then, of course, we will need a plate to plate the scallop on and then a little dipping sauce uh, container. Okay, that's all of our equipment, uh, except for, of course, we will need our, our prep list. That's all of our equipment. Let's break now and come back and start cooking. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is marinate the scallops. We have the scallops uh, here in this bowl. We're going to uh, put some olive oil on them and we're going to mix it around and put them into this marinating bowl where we already have the um, uh, where we already have the garlic. Just mix it up so we have the uh, garlic mixed in with the with and we can just pour them out, get them all mixed up. Make sure the scallops are well coated with the olive oil and the um, garlic. Okay, now we're going to marinate these in the refrigerator for two or three hours. So we're going to put the lid on it, take them to the refrigerator, and we'll be right back. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is make the garlic paste. To do that, we have already have our, our coarsely, coarsely chopped garlic in the mortar. We're going to pour in our one tablespoon of sugar, and then we're going to use this pestle to make a paste. So I'm going to go into fast mode now. Okay, there we have it. Uh, we have a paste that uh, you saw. I, I moved the mortar or the pestle around like this and I moved it back and forth. And basically I ground that sugar into the garlic and made a smooth paste. Uh, very few little lumps of garlic left in there. If there are a few, that's fine. Okay, uh, now I'm going to break, come back with the other ingredients and we'll make the rest of the sauce. Okay, we have all of our ingredients for making the uh, dipping sauce. First, we're going to take the garlic out of the out of the mortar. Put that into our mixing bowl. I want to get all of it. And if you if you taste some of this stuff after you've uh, finished uh, getting it out of the bowl, you will, it's pretty intense. Sweet, very sweet, and garlicky. Okay. Water. Fish sauce. Lime juice, rice vinegar, brown rice vinegar, about an eighth of a teaspoon or a pinch of red pepper flakes, chives, Okay, now what we want to do is take the carrot and just make some tiny little shavings. We'll do a couple on the board so you can see what they look like. We're going to put those into the, into the bowl. How much of this? Until it looks right. You just want to have enough that when you ladle it out into your serving dipping bowls, dipping sauce bowls, that there will be a little bit in each bowl. Good. Okay, now we're just going to stir that up. Now 
Now we're going to ladle it into the bowl now because we want it to be ready to go when the scallops come off the stove. So there we go. Vietnamese dipping sauce, plate it up. Okay, so let's check our prep list. We have marinated the scallops. We have uh, made the garlic sugar paste. We uh, shredded the carrot. We mixed the sauce. Uh, now we're going to uh, move on to the cooking step. Okay, so we have um, about a tablespoon, roughly a tablespoon of uh, avocado oil, which has a high smoke point in each one of these two pans. We're gonna do them in both a, hot, a cast iron pan and a regular pan, so we can see the difference. The, the oil is almost smoking. And we're gonna put these scallops in, give them enough space. Okay, we're gonna do five in one pan and five in the other. Now, if these were jumbo scallops, I'd be doing one per person. Since they're largest, I'm gonna do two per person. So we're gonna be plating up for five small plates tonight. Now, we're gonna let these go for two minutes two minutes on each side. If they were jumbos, we would do three minutes on each side. Two minutes on each side is gonna give you uh, a medium center. Okay, it's been two minutes, and I don't know if you can see the color as well as I can, but I think that the, the golden color on the, um, on the ones that were cooked in the cast iron pan is actually a nicer uh, golden color. Now we're gonna plate up. Okay, we already have our dipping sauces plated up and to plate, all we're gonna do is slice these into two coins and then arrange them on the plate. Now, I'm gonna plate up two on camera, I'll do the rest off camera, but you can do it any way you want. You could have one up and one down, both up. Remember, we're doing two per person because these are larges. I th you know, I think I like them all with the cooked side up. Okay. There we go. Seared scallops with Vietnamese dipping sauce. To see the photos of the finished lesson, go to my Instagram at Chef's Apprentice, cook like a pro. Next up is uh, coconut curry spare ribs with a citrus dipping sauce. Please, please remember to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.